Hey everybody, welcome back. Tonight we're going to answer one of the most frequently asked questions of the last three or four weeks. How do we plant our Northwoods Food Plot Screen HD? Before we go any further, if you've not already, please hit that subscribe button. You can follow along on our journey. So planting the HD Food Plot Screen. Uh, first and foremost, if you're new to our product, the HD Food Plot Screen, we do include complete planting instructions, fertilizer requirements, uh, chemical use, how, how this should be planted, you know, what to look for. A lot of that's going to be covered here, so you don't really need to take notes if you plan on purchasing. Two varieties of planting method include drilling and broadcasting. Broadcasting is probably 95, 96% of what most people do. So drilling, obviously we're going to do a weed uh, control program um, two or three weeks before spraying. Typically it's Roundup, maybe some 2,4-D. Uh, usually we're planting our HD screen here in Upper Michigan, probably 20th of June seems to be the time frame. So we're looking at spraying early June. Now, you're gonna probably need to work the ground up if it's a new field, you're gonna to need to bust that root mass up. But when you go to drill, uh, seven and a half inch row centers is typical of most drills. We're looking at six, maybe seven pounds to the acre, three quarters of an inch deep. Now all the fertilizer requirements are gonna be in the instructions when we send them. One thing that is very critical for no matter how you're going to plant this, soil temperature. It needs to be 62 to 65 degrees, okay? 62 to 65 degrees, that's very critical. This comes right from the gentleman that created this for us. One of the mistakes I see is folks try to get it in the ground too early, and I'd rather see you get it in the ground later and wait for the ground to warm up, because if you get into too cold the ground, it's just not going to germinate. If you get a lot of rain, the seed's going to rot. It needs to be above 60 degrees. I like to see 70 degrees nighttime uh, ambient temperature. Okay, the other mostly preferred method is broadcasting. Again, we're going to do um, some weed control spraying two, three, four weeks ahead of planting. We're going to come in and work the ground up a little bit, whether it's a tiller or a disc maybe a harrow drag. You got to get that top one inch worked up. We're going to broadcast at eight, maybe nine pounds an acre. And the reason I bumped that to nine is there's a lot of folks that just can't get all the seed covered. You might need to bump that up a little bit, not very much. You're going to broadcast it again. We covered this many times. Uh, try not to do it all in one pass, multiple passes with a low setting. I think the earth way it's going to be maybe one and a half, maybe two. Uh, we're gonna do a complete planning video when the time allows for it and the weather allows for it. Obviously here in early March, we're not planting screen anytime soon, but when we get to planting our screen, we're gonna do a complete video. So you get the seed down, you get the fertilizer down. You gotta find a way to cover that seed a half inch to one inch deep. We need to get that in the ground. Uh, if you have a tiller, we don't want the tiller actually running. We want it shut off and you can just go back and forth and we're, we're confident that'll work that into the ground. Uh, even get off the tractor and check, okay? I don't really think that's the best way to do it, but I've seen it done before. I personally like a light disking or a light harrow drag or drag to cover the seed, get it in the ground. Again, if this is new for you, you can get off your machine and check and see how deep you're planting it. I've done that many times, okay? My, my personal way of doing it, I have a ATV disc, which is three feet wide, and we hook a lawn roller right up behind that, which is three feet wide, and we go, I believe it's four miles an hour, seems to be uh, the best method for me here when we do our screens. So once you've got the seed covered, you wanna roll it, lawn roller, call it the packer. I really like a lawn roller for the consistency. And then once it's packed down, um, spray simazine two quarts to the acre, if you've got real heavy ground, you might have to bump that up to two and a half, and then you're done. The simazine does not affect the screen. One thing that I can't stress and emphasize enough, this is not a throw and grow product. This is not a no-till product, although you can drill it, but what I'm talking about is killing some weeds or some vegetation, and then coming back two or three weeks later, throwing the seed down and rolling it in. 
You can't just throw it on bare ground and try to roll it in. It will not work 99% of the time. It will, you're asking for a failure or poor germination. So again, you need to get this covered. It's not a throw and grow or a seed and roll product. Okay. Um, as far as how many years in a row can I grow the screen? Where I'm standing right now used to be a food plot many years ago and there's a road right out here and we used to have a food plot screen. Every single year we would plant that screen and I think we got five, maybe six years out of it and it the, the last year it just, the second storm we had in late October, it just fell down. It was spindly. Um, just ran out of nutrients. I mean, you can only throw so much fertilizer at this year after year after year. So what we tell folks, two years, three at the absolute most, and then you're going to move it over and then do some sort of soil building uh, process while you're waiting for that screen to come back. Um, one of the things I want to hit on is why I think our screen's the best. So 2013, I think there was two companies that had food plot screens that I knew of. There might have been a couple other, um, but it was Northwoods Whitetails and then there was another company. Now everybody seems to have a screen. We worked long and hard to find this particular strain that we're planting right now. And what I see out here a lot of is what we used to try and it failed miserably. Sorghum Sudan grass. Um, most of the mixes nowadays that we're seeing are sorghum Sudan grass, Egyptian wheat, Milo, which is a food. You don't want food in your screen. Um, that seems to be the majority of the mixes out there. I've seen stuff, sun hemp, beans, peas, sunflowers. That's all food, folks. And the last thing you're, you know, let's say this is my screen and I'm trying to get on hunt on that side of the screen. I'm walking along the screen and there's a deer stuff in its face full of sun hemp or sunflowers. That makes no sense at all. So we've never done that. Okay, we don't add food to our screen, um, nor do we add Egyptian wheat. We don't add grain sorghum. We don't, especially don't add sorghum sedan grass. That's a terrible screening choice. And the latest thing now is strengtheners. We want to put strengtheners in our screen. Uh, here's a crazy thought. Why don't you just use all strengthener for your screen instead of all this fluff that I just talked about and maybe some strengtheners, which... We don't do that. We've just got four pound bags, which is four pounds of strengthener and, and no fluff in our screen. We don't need it. Um, you know, if you've got to put all that stuff in there and then you add a strengthener, you're pretty much admitting that the rest of the stuff in your screen is going to fall down. So again, we've tried that stuff years, years ago, and it doesn't work very well. It, uh, it's just something we don't do anymore. We do sell Egyptian wheat uh, to the folks in the deep south because they don't have to deal with what we have to deal with in the Midwest. And the only time I would plant Egyptian wheat, it says right in the planting instructions that this screen does not like damp or wet ground. Now, obviously we're not planting in standing water, but if I got into some ground that tends to hold water and it seems to be wet, we may try Egyptian wheat, but we will not plant the screen uh, in wet ground. So just something else to think about. So. I hope these instructions make sense. Uh, if you're looking at an annual screen, I strongly suggest northwoodswhitetails.com look at our HD food plot screen. So uh, I hope this helps. And again, you'll get a complete page of planning instructions with every order. So thanks for watching, folks. Uh, it's really cool to see how this channel is growing. You're all a big part of it, and we'll see you in a few days.